cell mediated response begins when an immune cell engulfs an antigen by way of phagocytosis. While in the macrophage, the antigen is known as a phagosome. After being engulfed, the phagosome is digested by lysosomes and enzymes inside the cell. The fragmented phagosome is attached to the major histocompatibility complex 1, or MHC1. The MHC then presents the fragments on the macrophage's plasma membrane. A helper T cell uses its CD4 receptors to bind to the macrophage's MHC1 and fragmented antigen. The binding of these two cells triggers the macrophage to release cytokine interleukin-1, which activates the helper T cell. T cell releases cytokine interleukin 2, which acts on itself, and the helper T cell proliferates and forms clones with the same T cell receptors that are specific to their original antigen. A cytotoxic T cell uses its CD8 receptors to bind to the helper T cell and the fragmented antigen. The binding of these two cells triggers the helper T cell to release cytokine interleukin-2, which activates the cytotoxic T cell. cytotoxic T cell proliferates and forms clones with the same T cell receptors that are specific to the original antigen. The clone cytotoxic T cell can then recognize any complex that is specific to the antigen. When a complex is found, the cytotoxic T cell binds to the MHC1, stimulating the T cell. The cytotoxic T cell then releases perforin. The perforin then lyses the cell's plasma membrane, effectively killing the cell along with the antigen. 